Hello, it's me. I'm going to try to make this one a real quick one. My husband should be home soon. We're going out. We're going to file our taxes and get some money. So look, I put on my teeth. See? Ah, I got my teeth in and I did my hair and I did my makeup. Got a nice shirt on so I can't do no art. Because I get it all over me. Because <laughs> I'm in my art. This I just want to do real quick to show where I started and how I've come along. It, it, instead of just posting tons and tons of pictures, I just do it in this one quick video. So, here is um, my idea. <laughs> I never heard of mixed media art. I was, when I was a young child, about from the ages of six to about ten or eleven, I took a, a, a traditional uh, art classes twice a week, but I did um, paintings on canvas, acrylic painting, and I also did black and white, um, black and white, black ink, um, black and white drawings, and that's all I have ever done and have ever known. So when Carol was showing me this media, mixed media art, I had no idea what it was we were talking about. So she had a thing, and um, it was, uh, every day it was something. This is when I first, first started. And uh, it's up so, this is so funny. This is how I started. I need peace. I need rest. I need money. And a big fat smiley face. And we thought, oh, isn't that wonderful? And then my next one, want, the word want. And I didn't even know who Van Gogh was, let alone. This is so typical of him now that I know who he is and what he does. But I didn't know when I did this. I just thought, oh, that looked cool. And she was trying to teach me about separating the page into, you know, the three. So I did pretty good there for for what I knew. This one I'm embarrassed to even say. I wasn't feeling well. So I drew that. <laughs> Glued my stickers. <laughs> then we evolved. Then we got into this. This is, this is uh, my start of becoming better at mixed media. And uh, this one I liked. This one was, was really pretty cool. It had those butterflies and stuff and the lady. So, um, then I got funky with it. I got funky with it. I got my glitter glue. Y'all know I'm addicted to my gold glitter glue. Oh, wow. It's half full. Half full. Not half empty. It's half full. Oh, I love that stuff. Anyway, I digress. So, this is what we did. That was where I was really coming into my own. I, um, was bold and glue things and painted and chalk and pastel and watercolor and glitter glue. I used everything I had and made this, so I was proud of that. So that's my mixed media. Mixed media art. Then, um... Uh, let's see. And I started getting better. And when I got my acrylic paints, I, this was the first thing I did with the acrylic paints. I was pretty proud of that. And then here I did a, um, I guess, a, you know, a mixed media collage. I like, I like, um, I like that one. I learned how to do bubble wrap. And you'll see a lot of bubble wrap. That's one of my favorite techniques, taking the bubble wrap. You know, small bubble wrap, small, small bubble wrap, like, um, this is a used, 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 but it keeps on going. My bubble wrap, I just paint right on it and stamp it down and lift it up and it really, really is nice. So, so I did that. This was Halloween. This was so fun. Every piece of this is separate. The tree, the tree is one piece and I glued it. I drew the fence and drew 
the painted the blue backgrounds and the sun sun and the stars. Alright, but that's all that was. This pumpkin, each flower, every single cat, and the tree are all individual pieces I drew and cut out and glued together. This was my most proud moment when I did this. I thought I could do anything. So that's when I took off and soared. This I love. I hope I hope somebody you, you recognizes this. Is, ah, it's my first Picasso. No, she's like her. The sleeping, sleeping girl. I just love her. I love her. She's my, she's my absolute favorite of all my pieces to work. Is is my, my Picasso. And I did an Andy Warhol. As an Andy Warhol. See all the scrolls on the cone and the dips, different colors. Um, did this peacock, I thought he was pretty. Uh, did this for um, Faith, I think it was Faith in Laura's class. And I'll end with my two heroes. In, I love music. I love all music. I mean, I go headbanging, screaming rock, heavy metal, to uh, Bach, to opera. No country, no rap. <laughs> no country, no rap, but everything else, wide open. Um, so, Ian Anderson... Ian Anderson is a, a wonderful man. I love him. He is my, uh, just my everything. He's the lead, uh, lead of the group Jets Hotel from the 60s, late 60s, early 70s. So, I did this piece here. The background is a Van Gogh style. And then I drew a picture of Ian and glued it onto the Van Gogh. So this is Van Gogh meets Ian Anderson. And I love, 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 love it. There he is. If you know Ian Anderson, you know this is classic. Him playing the flute with one foot in the air. And then, of course, Van Gogh's curly curlies. So that's it. Um, that's all I've done so far. Got myself all ready to go. I can't wait to go out and be in public. Doesn't happen often. Usually just when I go to the doctor. So today I'm going to get money, 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 money. And uh, that'll be nice to have. We're only getting $50 today. But it's nice. It's um, it's called Liberty Tax here in Norfolk. And uh, they give you a 20 no, a $50 bill. When you sit down and start the paperwork, they give you a $50 bill just for walking in the door. Really, really cool. We've been going there for 10 years, and for 10 years we've been getting our $50 bill. And they always give us a really good, good tax taxes. So, oh, there I go rocking again. Uh, um, so anyway, maybe with my $50, maybe if I beg enough, honey, will take me to the thrift store so I can find some more doodads and whatnots. Never have enough doodads and whatnots. And uh, I need an apron or a smock because I'm just ruining my clothes. I'm wearing old t-shirts, but sometimes an old t-shirt you like to wear, but if it's covered in paint, you don't. So Anyway, I babbled enough. I think I like to hear myself talk. Um, to be perfectly honest with you, I do like to hear myself talk. <laughs> That's why my name is Mrs. Babel Bridges. That's my email. Mrs. Babel Bridges. And, um, so I will stop babbling now and I will publish this for you all. And it's so good to see you all. Happy creating, everyone. Bye-bye.